In today's video, we're taking a quick look at how to set up and install the Home Assistant Community Store, otherwise known as Hacks. Specifically, this video focuses on how to set this up for Home Assistant OS and supervised variants, but if you are making use of Home Assistant as a container or running Home Assistant Core, then there are instructions which you'll find over at the Get Hacks website, and you'll find a link to this page in the description below. But again, this video is specifically for Home Assistant OS. To get started, we're simply just going to press the My Link option, which will open the Home Assistant My Link feature. If you've never set this up or used it before, you'll just need to provide your Home Assistant URL and press the Save button. If you have done this, you'll simply just see the Open Link option, and you can go ahead and just press Open Link. This will then jump us over to our Home Assistant, where it will first just check if we actually meant to press the Get Hacks add-on, and we did, so we're just going to press Yes. We can now see the Get Hacks option, and from here we can just simply press Install and give that a second to do its thing. Once that's installed, we're simply going to press the switch for Start on Boot, and then we're going to press Start on the add-on. Once the add-on's running, we'll first need to restart Home Assistant in order for it to start detecting and making use of hacks, so we'll just simply press Settings, then the three dots in the top right corner, and Restart Home Assistant, and Restart. Once your Home Assistant's restarted, we can select Integrations up at the top and then Add Integration in the bottom right corner. We can then just type Hacks and select Hacks, and then we'll be presented with a set of checkboxes that we first need to confirm in order to install Hacks. By acknowledging each of these points, we're just confirming that we understand that everything we're setting up and installing through Hacks is all created by the community and it's not tested or vetted by the Home Assistant developers, so any problems that might be caused through Hacks will need to be either chased up by yourself or checked with the community. And once you're happy with that, just go ahead and press Submit. The next step in the installation requires us just to authorise Hacks with our GitHub account. So at this point, if you haven't got an account, go ahead and simply create one. And if you do have one, just copy the code at the bottom of the page and then select the link. Selecting the link will open GitHub in a new tab. And if you're already signed in, it should just automatically ask you to activate your device. And if you're not, you'll need to just enter your GitHub login. From here we can just select continue and then we can enter that code that we had on the previous page before pressing continue again. The final step then is just going to be to confirm the authorization of hacks with our GitHub and once we press this we should see a message from GitHub telling us that everything was successful. We can then close the tab with GitHub and return to Home Assistant. Once you return to Home Assistant you'll hopefully see the success message and you can just press finish on this. In the left hand menu, you should now be able to see hacks and if yours doesn't have an icon like mine, you just need to clear your browser cache. So you can either do this by going into your settings or you can simply press the shortcut key, control and F5 and that will clear the cache for you. Selecting hacks, you'll now be able to just scroll through and browse all of the different integrations and all of the other bits that are inside of hacks. To install them, you just simply select one of them and then press download in the bottom corner. What's nice about this new revision of Hacks compared to the old one is the fact that there's now a really nice search functionality, there's nice little icons next to everything, and you can also make use of the smart filters. And there we go guys, that's been a quick look at how to set up and install Hacks. If you did enjoy this video or you found it useful, then be sure to drop me a like, and if you're not already, hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to see more videos like this and other future tutorials that I do. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.